to do a little demo of a recipe. I posted a picture a few, like last week perhaps, and I got some requests on how to make the recipe because I didn't make, I didn't post the recipe with it. But this is a super easy recipe. It is for protein bars and or bites. You can kind of make them what you want them. I hope you enjoyed this really easy recipe. It only has a few ingredients and it will probably take you 10 minutes or less to make. Step one, I have this protein powder. You could use any protein powder that you want, but this is First Form's um, Formula One, so it's a whey protein isolate, and I just like the way that it forms the consistency. I just really like it. It's a really good flavor, too. This one says CTC. I don't know if you can see that. It says CTC, which means Cinnamon Toast Crunch, so the flavor is delicious. So I'm going to take three scoops of this. You could kind of alter the recipe on like how much you want to make, but I'm going to make three servings, so I'm going to use three scoops of this. One, two, and three. And each scoop of this has 20 grams of protein. 20 grams of protein. Next, I'm going to take natural peanut butter natural creamy peanut butter. Um, I only eat natural peanut butter. I don't eat any of that stuff with sugar added. It's really bad for you. So when you're looking for a peanut butter, make sure that the only ingredients are peanuts and perhaps a little bit of salt. So now I'm gonna take three tablespoons of natural peanut butter. I don't know if you could see that, but that was flying everywhere. Okay, next, oats. Old fashioned oats. I'm gonna take one cup. So like I said, I'm making three servings, and each serving is going to have a third of a cup of oats in there. So, full cup. And then the next ingredient is honey. Use sparingly because honey is so dense. I mean, one tablespoon has 17 grams of carbs. It's basically pure sugar. It's natural sugar, but it is pure sugar. So I just put enough honey in there to kind of get it to stick together. I don't really measure, but I'm, we'll see how much comes out. See, I'm guessing it's about one tablespoon. The whole thing. And this is really old, so it's sticking together. You can add other things to this. I just don't have anything else on hand. You could add dried cranberries or raisins, but just know that that's gonna add even more sugars. Okay, so I grabbed out around a tablespoon of honey. I did find one thing to give a flavor. I have a little bit of coconut flakes left um, in my pantry. So I'm just gonna shake some of those in there for some flavor. Okay, now I have this big mess of stuff. I'm gonna sprinkle a little water in there. This can be tricky. So I would add one tablespoon at a time. Oops. Not the best way to measure things over the bowl. But, okay, so there's two, three, there's four tablespoons. And now I'm gonna pop this thing in the microwave so it'll melt the honey and the peanut butter. I'm gonna just microwave it for 30 seconds just to kind of soften things up. I'm back from the microwave, so I'm gonna take this rubber spatula and start to mix everything up together. And I can already tell that I'm going to need to add some more water. So I have this, this is about another fourth of a cup. So I've added about a fourth of a cup. Here's another fourth of a cup. Add it just slowly. right where I want it. It's nice and doughy. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish I could eat some, but I can't. So right now, I would recommend putting your ball, uh, your dough into the fridge and letting it harden for about 25 minutes so that it's easy to form into bars or balls. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to go ahead and make it into, I think I'm going to do bars right now because I think it's easier. So here's my wax paper. an 
even square, if at all possible. Ooh, cinnamon would be good to add to this. That would be really good. So here's my even square and stuff. Now I'm gonna turn this over. Turn this over. And here's my square. And you know what, I am going to have to put this in the fridge for a little bit to harden up. While I'm waiting for that, I'm going to clean up, but I'm doing a really bad thing and that's looking this food because I'm not supposed to have anything on my meal plan. And here I am. Okay, I'm back from the freezer. Those were in there for about 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm getting really impatient, so I brought them back out. And to be honest, I added a little too much water, so that just goes to show you how easy it is to get out of control with the water and how you should add it very, very slowly. So now I'm just going to cut these into three equal parts and they're gonna look like big fat like granola bars. And then you're just gonna portion them out. So here's my three equal parts and then you're just gonna portion them out. And my recommendation, because these can be so easy to overeat on, they're a very small amount of something and they taste so good so you're going to want more. So the key to these things is to portion them out into like a container like this and then put them all in the fridge and then you can eat it for breakfast. To figure out your macros, um, add up whatever you added, oats, the protein powder, whatever ingredients you added, add all of those serving sizes up and then divide by how many servings. So in my case, I have three servings. My point is just to determine it for yourself and what you added. Just add them all up and then divide by however many servings. And then you have your macros for each one. So just wanted to give you an idea for a quick and easy recipe that you can make in a very, very, very short amount of time. And that's so yummy and that I love, but I can't have right now. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, visit my website, basicgirlfitness.com, for other recipes, uh, meal prep ideas, fitness tips, and stuff like that. Thanks for watching.